One of the things that's happened with the whole COVID experience is to magnify the achievement gaps that exist. We've known about large achievement gaps from more disadvantaged students to more advantaged students for a long time. But as we went to school closures, as we went to fully remote instruction, I think that those gaps have dramatically expanded. That's what the early data are saying. They're saying that, in fact, some of the students probably did better in their new situation, but there's a bunch that didn't get much help from their parents, that weren't very motivated, that have been lost to the schools. The schools don't even know where a number of students are today. And so we have to find ways to compensate for that difference and disadvantage. And what that means, I think, is to provide incentives for the best teachers to be able to deal with those who are most in need. Before COVID, we had overwhelming evidence of the huge variation in effectiveness of teachers in the classroom. In some studies, the most effective teachers are getting one and a half years worth of learning gains every year out of their students. The least effective teachers are getting half a year of learning gains. So the difference is a full year of learning each academic year, depending upon which teacher you happen to get as a student. Now, we don't have complete evidence on this, but I think that this story has just been magnified by COVID. We've gone to a lot of hybrid learning where technology plays a part, where there's distance learning, where there's some in-class learning and some mixed modes across the board. I think that's going to continue, but one of the things that does, I think, is magnify the differences. I think that we are going to find when we get all the data in that some teachers are just much better at remote learning than others, just as some teachers are much better at in-class instruction than others. And I don't think they're the same teachers. What we have to do, first and foremost, is find ways to use teachers where they're most effective, to emphasize remote learning of those that are really effective at it and emphasize in-class learning from those that are also most effective at that. And out of that, to build a better quality teaching force.